Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be talking about the meaning behind number 888. Have you all suddenly started seeing number 888 all over the place and you're wondering what is happening in my life right now? What is going on? So here and there I make for you videos which are connected to numerology, which can bring you some explanations behind symbols, what it could mean if you see certain combinations of numbers, because here and there it can inspire us. Or we can train ourselves to think like every time we see, for example, 888, let's express gratitude for the abundance or the wealth that I'm already experiencing. Because it can help us, doesn't matter if we believe into that or we don't believe into that, every time we see a symbol of it, we can uplift our emotional state. So what it means, if we go firstly into the ancient Greek uh, philosophy, Plato said numbers are the highest degree of knowledge, it is knowledge itself. So if we learn to decode the numbers, we will always find certain messages, certain meanings. Pythagoras said number rules the universe. He also said God build the universe on numbers. So they understood that each number has a special value, a special meaning. And now if we go into Chinese numerology, number 888 usually means triple fortune. So combination of numbers 888 is connected with abundance, with balance, with good luck. And it can be a beautiful sign every time you see it that you are on that vibrational frequency of abundance, of good fortune, of good luck, of success. And a great question always you could ask yourself every time you see 888 is what have you done that you feel that way right now? What have you done that you've started seeing that? Because there's a pattern which is helping you to, to be more in balance with yourself, to be more in harmony with yourself. Because the greatest success in life is to be in balance and harmony with yourself. And that's where you attract good luck into your life. So every time you see number 888, could be your sign that you are in harmony with life, that you are in harmony with yourself. So figure it out how to stay in that state more often. What have you done? Maybe you went outside for a walk and you've seen and you, you saw number 888. Maybe you are doing something you love and after that you've seen, you've seen 888. Maybe you are talking with a special person in your life and after that you've seen 888. You know, become more aware of the patterns in your life because that will help you to stay more often in that beautiful harmonic state of being, right? The second thing that number 888 could remind you to be prepared is that it reminds you that the universe is supporting you right now with all of your hard work and there's nothing standing in your way. So with the emotions of gratitude, stay prepared for the wonderful miracles into your life. And if you're wondering like how to stay prepared, Express more gratitude, my friends. Always find things to be grateful for. Every time you see number 888, just remind yourself of all the beautiful things which are already present in your life. That will help you to raise your spirit, to raise your vibration, and suddenly you will see more good things. You know, every time we focus on gratitude and we go into detail, so I'm, I'm grateful for the breath that I'm breathing right now, I'm grateful for the inspiration I'm receiving so I can make my dreams possible, I'm grateful for the path that I'm walking on, I'm gr grateful for my legs that are carrying me, I'm grateful for my brain that I can think, you know, every time we start thinking that way, we start seeing more things to be grateful for and suddenly we feel fully alive. Isn't that so? Suddenly we feel like there are so many things to be grateful for and suddenly the universe starts bringing you more synchronicities 
and serendipities to reaffirm you that you're doing a great job. So it doesn't mean that things will appear out of nowhere, but you may receive a certain inspiration or a certain insight or a certain idea, like what could you change in your life to, to create more abundance or to create a greater balance or harmony or success in your life? What to do to experience more of that good luck? Because, right, like... Um, Every time we start doing more of what feels natural to us or more of what we love to do or, or we start overcoming the challenges that life is offering to us and we start seeing lessons in the hard moments, suddenly it feels like we've connected ourselves to the energy of good luck and more opportunities and synchronicity starts appearing in our lives. Have you experienced that before? Because it really works that way. Everything is in front of us, so we would recognize the meaning in it, the value in it. That's how we go from the victimized state where we all always complain over things. We always judge and overanalyze and, you know, criticize and so on. We go beyond that and suddenly we see value in the things that are present with us. We see the greater meaning in it. And that's why you're seeing those numbers to remind you of the greater meaning. And knowledge can help you to understand more of that. The third thing that number 888 could remind you is your vision for the future. Think about the goals maybe that you have or the vision that you have or ideas you've put on the vision board or intentions you've sent to the universe and express gratitude as those things are already happen uh, and that like they are already present because that will help you to get into that greater vibrational alignment with yourself with that potential in the quantum field and with your future self you will get into that great alignment and that's where you will start attracting more of those kind of miracles into your life. It is beautiful, you know, every time we set more like a clearer vision for the future, we actually detach from the distraction which is not supporting that vision. And that's how we start decluttering the nonsense. That's how we start decluttering any, like the anchors which are still holding us back with certain fears, certain worries, certain limited beliefs, certain limited ideas of who we think we are. And suddenly we feel more inspired, suddenly we feel uplifted and we feel empowered, which is truly amazing. So when you are seeing number 888, remind yourself of the vision of the future that you're holding within your dreams or on your vision board and just express gratitude for it. Another powerful meaning behind number 888 is also a reminder of how blessed you already are. You know, sometimes we just lose ourselves in our daily problems. We see the things that are going wrong and we fall into that state of sadness or misery or sometimes even depression if we stay too long in that state of misery and we it seems like we can't find a way out. And we forget about what we truly love to do in our lives. We forget to shake us off a little bit and to do something new, like to break the patterns of habits and to do something new. And at those times, often we forget about how blessed we already are, how blessed we are with that ability to think, you know, to, to recognize that we have a free will, we can break a pattern, we can do something new. Maybe you don't have a wanting amount of money right now, but you have an opportunity to go outside under the sun, for example, or you, you can write something down, or you can express your emotions in a certain way. Or, you know, every time we start wondering and thinking more deeply of how blessed we already are, we shift our perception a little bit. 
We go from single negative to single so or positive. And then we can decide what is more important to us. Because if you remember that story of a of a wolf, when a grandfather was was talking about that story to a little kid, like we all have two wolves inside of us. One is good and one is bad and and the kid asked uh, that old guy like which one wins and he said the one you're feeding the most and here is the same my friends when it comes to our mindset what kind of perception what kind of beliefs we are feeding the most and we've actually made it up positive and negative it's all just how it is and the problem is that we've started judging the negative and we've started judging the positive and now we don't know what is right and what is wrong. So when we see negative things in our lives, we always can ask ourselves, what's the lesson in those experiences? What can I learn from my maybe my bad behaviors? What can I learn from my toxic habits? How to let go of that? How to shift my behaviors? And that's how we start thinking in another way. And if you truly put your will into work, you will start walking a different path. So a reminder of how blessed you are is important in our lives. So that's why I said at the beginning, if we train ourselves to think, even if we don't believe into any of that, we say, well, every time I will see 888, I will remind myself of how blessed I am. Isn't it a beautiful sign? So think about that, my friends. How blessed you already are. Write in the comments below right now about one thing you're blessed about. Expressing gratitude. And another sign that number 888 can remind you of is that everything is abundant right now everything is in abundance so you can think about it as the radio signals like doesn't matter where you are right now there's music around you there are different radio stations around you but you can't hear it but if you would take a radio and plug it to a certain vibrational frequency you would hear that uh, radio station you would hear the music the antenna in the radio would catch that frequency and through the speaker you would be able to hear the music same is with abundance it's always present the vibration of abundance is always present maybe you're not fully plugged to it but it is always present so the question is how to plug ourselves like more of ourselves to that vibrational frequency of abundance. And the question is, what is actually pulling us off that state? There's many worries, many fears, many limited beliefs, many stories which are not supporting that idea, right? And our mission could be to slowly ditch the stories, let go of them and create new ones which will support the state of abundance by recognizing that everything is in abundance already. And we can start again with simple things. Well, I have uh, fresh oxygen to breathe. I can water to drink. I can. F- I have food to eat. I have a roof over my head. I have clothes to wear. I have friends whom I can trust. I have a family which um, which made me who I am, or whatever it is. Right? When we start appreci- appreciating little things more beautiful things will come. That's how it works. Often people focus on that wanting goal, wanting idea, and they forget about what they already have. And they think like things should just happen for them. But what often we forgot, forget to understand is that the greatest blessing is an experience that we get while walking on the path towards our goals and not the actual goals the greatest blessing is the path that we are walking 
moment by moment, lessons we are receiving, growth that is happening in the background, evolution that is happening for us, for our soul, where while we are walking that path towards the goals we've set, at some point we'll maybe recognize, well, those goals are not truly really fulfilling me, let's change it. Maybe I don't even need to chase any goals, maybe I just want to follow my heart or whatever it is. That's the evolution of the soul, that's the growth we are going through. And that's the greatest blessing. So always remind yourself, everything is in abundance already. What I need to let go right now so I can feel more abundant. You know that there's a path to a greater wealth, to a greater health, to greater relationships in your life. But there are so many anchors which are holding you back so you can't experience that. Those can be some certain habits which are not allowing you to be more productive or more creative. Those are certain beliefs which are not helping you to be more loving, to be more compassionate. And it all comes to knowledge once again. We need to teach ourselves how to be better, how to be better humans, how to, you know, how can I be more compassionate? And once we find the information, we need to let go of, of what is not serving us anymore. By applying more of that new knowledge, slowly we will let go of the old one. And that's how the change in our brain is happening, how we are changing our mind. So, my friends, this is it for today. Why you are seeing number 888. I hope this video can bring you some inspiring insights to uplift your spirit every time you see number 888. This is it for today. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. Till next time, I hope you've enjoyed in today's painting. Thanks to all of you for supporting my art in my Etsy shop, I Draw My Passion. You can also find all of my art on my Instagram page, I Draw My Passion. See you there and one love.